Jack Stewart. This is my prime demographic, yeah! Which is people who know what a prime demographic is. If you do, you are. If you don't, get out. I'm excited. Very, very excited. I'm a Portland guy. Yeah, few people like us, thank you. But to be honest, I moved down to Los Angeles a year and a half ago, and when you move down to Hollywood, People always give you that, hey, look out for broken dreams. Watch out for all those broken ass dreams. Thanks. Joke's on them. Due to the sedative nature of my antidepressants, I don't have dreams. <laughs> Seattle doesn't know nothing about antidepressants, do you? <laughs> Guys, quit killing yourselves. It's stupid. Here's why. Here's why I don't kill yourself. Here's why I don't kill myself. I figured this out. The pain doesn't stop. Because your ability to tell if the pain stops or not has stopped. So as far as you know, you are in pain for eternity. So just keep going. Because you might find a way for it to stop just for a second. That's what I figured out. Then I heard about this drug, DMT. <laughs> right, it's this psychedelic drug, people say in 15 minutes, like a year's worth of therapy, and it's in your brain, released when your brain dies. You have an amazing psychedelic experience when you die. So now I'm back on board with killing myself. <laughs> I think I'm in the right city to do that. Let's party tonight, huh? Is this where it happens? Excellent. Sounds like I'm wasting my psychology degree. That's because I am. <laughs> University of Oregon psychology degree. They said that thing would be useful, so I got one. And then they went, psych. <laughs> I agree. With whatever that opinion on comedy was. I'm not sure what that noise meant. If that was approval, disapproval, or just the only emotional reaction you've had to something today. I'm not quite sure. But I like it. The joke is on those assholes. I learned a few things about psychology. For instance, when a good-looking girl at the bar walks away from her drink for a few moments, leaves that drink unattended. You know what kind of pill Dr. Thoughtful Dax drops in there? A placebo. <laughs> this is a little bit sweeter now, just like you. <laughs> Welcome to the control group, Stacy. <laughs> That's what I love about science. It sounds horrifying even when nothing is happening. Nothing happened in that joke. It's a fake pill. Placebo is just a fake pill. If you don't know that, you're probably on one right now. That's a good sign. You're addicted to the fake pill. Nothing so. You made that boner by yourself, sir. That Viagra is not real. You constructed that all alone. Good job. So I'm overthinking shit. There's a lot of good news in psychology science. I read a study recently found that the children being raised by same-sex couples are smarter and more well-adjusted than the average not-as-well-dressed kid. <laughs> Across the board, these kids are doing better raised by same-sex couples. They don't know why, but I have a theory. Probably because you can't accidentally adopt a kid. <laughs> Straight people accidentally have kids every day. Some of you are gonna tonight. And therefore raise them shitty. There's no gay whoops. No one's ever woke up all hungover after that big gay party, tattered rainbows festooning the chandeliers. Oh. Ooh, that was a lot of rosé. <laughs> oh shit, wait a minute. Did we do 50 pages of paperwork? Talk to nine social workers and write a check for $10,000 last night? No? Woo, dodge that bullet. 
Good. Kids are gay. We don't want any of that. <laughs> One person slightly claps. Thank you. Almost feeling something. For a heroin adult crowd, that's actually a tremendous response. I'll take it.